Hello again, Mr. Solis here from Advanced Quantitative Reasoning. Again, we're taking a look at tree diagrams. This is it right here, tree diagrams, using tree diagrams. So right now I have this church group right here, and this is in Washington State. Sells pumpkins every year to raise money for children, for children of their town. Uh, this year's crop, however, produced very small pumpkins, so there's not many. Uh, the group decided to construct a corn maze in the field and charge customers uh, to walk through the maze. Uh, customers can only walk forward. So in other words, you cannot go backwards. You can't go ahead and retrace your steps and go backwards inside of the maze. Um, if customers ended up at an exit with pumpkins, they win a pumpkin. The group, uh, the uh, church group asked uh, some students to, add, to advise it on various possibilities, a uh, customer getting a pumpkin. So they were looking at this and they wanted to see what the probability of a person getting a pumpkin is. And basically this is what you do. You get a tree diagram. It's going to help. It's going to help. I have to go ahead and say. Now I'm going to use a pencil in conjunction with my pen. So can I, hopefully everyone can see that. You have this map, you know, you, ha you can go in, you can go up, and then this way and this way. Or you can go through the middle, or you go this way and this way. So, you have this part that we're looking at right now. And you have three different connections. One, two, and three. So, when I go ahead and draw my tree diagram, I go ahead and start with those three connections. And I'm not going to draw the details in. I'm just going to draw three, po uh, three lines, and that's their connection. All right, so this stands for three different choices. Then if we look at right here, the upper path, when you get over here, it branches into two different paths. And remember, you can't walk backwards on these paths. So we go ahead and have this. We go up or we go down. And taking a look at the map, the upper path has no pumpkins, so no pumpkins here. The lower path has pumpkins. Whoops, that's supposed to be a P, not a B. All right. Now, if you keep walking along this path right here, if you look at this, it doesn't branch. So once you get there, you get to pumpkins. Then the final one right here branches. So you get right here, it branches up and down, right here and right here. So we're going to draw that. Up, down, pumpkins. No pumpkins. I'm going to go ahead and correct that. Just put the new P right there. All right, so there we go. You're probably wondering some stuff off of this. So that's the uh, upper, middle, and right. And so this is how it's different. And I want to show, show you guys something interesting with this tree diagram. If we start with these branches right here, going up and down, the probabilities should be added up and can equal 1. So this is 1 out of 3 choices. If we start right here, we have 1 out of 3 choices. And there we go with that. And so this is going to help us uh, get the probabilities. This has 1 out of 2 choices. So 1 out of 2 going uh, this way and that way. This only has 1. After you go ahead and get there, there's only one way to go. This is one out of two also. So we're looking at choices here and looking at the combinations thereof. So if we look at this right here, all the probabilities have to add up to one. So if I take one third plus one third, one third, that equals to three thirds, so that's one. So, so far it works. Then we take the probability of this and happening, this one's happening and all that. But, all right, if we're going up and down, we add up, or down, add. If we're going across to the right, because we're only going to the right, we multiply. And I'll illustrate what that means in just a few seconds. So I want, if I want to find out the probability of us going ahead and getting a pumpkin off of the first path, going through the upper path and then taking the upper path and not getting a pumpkin, that's one-third times one third, and that's what we mean by we're uh, one half. I'm sorry, we're going to go ahead and multiply. So this is one six. So that's where that comes into play. So this one right here, if we go over here, 
This is going to be one third times one half. Again, one six. This is the probability. It's going to be equal to one third times one. So that's one over six. One over three. That's there. Again, these two, if I look at it, they, this is equal to one six because one third plus one well, times one half is one six. And then one third times one half again is one six. All right. Now, we're going to check if this works out. Remember, everything has to add up to 100%. So if I take 1 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6, that's these numbers right here all added together, we should get 1. So this is the only odd man out. So let me see. This is actually 2, 6. If we go ahead and multiply, we add this together. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that would be 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. And that in probability means 100%. So we get them all. That's what we get all today. Okay, so we have that. That's the basic explanation of this. So if you take a look at this, how is a tree diagram? Okay, we'll talk about that in class, but let's see. So create a tree diagram showing all the possible sandwiches. So we have create a sandwich menu. Mm, yum. We have wheat, we have white, we have ham, turkey, and beef, American, Swiss, provolone, and Munster. Mm, good stuff. And so right here, I'm going to go ahead and get a new sheet of paper. Just so you can see this right here happening in real time. We can use this to, uh, to obtain some probabilities here also, depending. So right here, we have our two branches because we have two choices from the beginning. Right there. So we either have white bread, yum, or wheat bread, equally yummy. Then, if we choose white, we can have a choice of any kind of these meats. Ham, turkey, beef, ham, turkey, beef. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I know it's not exact, but I'm going to have ham, turkey, or beef. Yummy. And then again, I have the same thing. This branches out because after you choose the wheat, you have the same kind of choices. Ham, turkey, beef. And then, okay, so that's those possible choices. And then we have the choice of cheese. Okay, so after you choose the bread and then the meat, you have choice of cheese. So we can make that into right here. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. So the ham has a choice. One, two, three, four choices. We have American, Swiss, Ovalone, or Munster. And again, right here, we have the same thing. That's the thing about this. It takes a little bit of space. American, Swiss, Provolone, Munster. And the same thing down here. It's a good thing I have a little bit of space. American, Swiss, Provolone, Munster. And then we have these were down here. four branches for this one. American, Swiss, Povolone, Munster. Again, right here. American, Swiss, Povolone, Munster. And finally, right over here. That's the thing about these branches. They, they, they are hard to make. American, Swiss, Provolone, Munster. And so, if we want the total number of combinations, everyone can see that, we just need to come, uh, go ahead and count the number of leaves. This ends right here are leaves. These lines all right here represent branches. That's why we call this a tree diagram. So if we count the number of leaves, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We have 24 different combinations. 
And if we go ahead and look at this right here, we could have found out the total number of combinations from the fact that we have two choices for bread, three choices for meat, and then four choices for the cheese, which equals to 24. All right. So there is a tree diagram of all the possibilities. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Yeah, let's see what they're asking. So finally right here, they're asking about a couple of probabilities. What is the probability you will select a sandwich with white bread? Explain your reasoning. Okay, well, you look at the choices for white bread. And since we're only looking at this, we're only looking at these probabilities. Since there's two probabilities, we have one over two, one over two. This right here is one over three. This over here is one over three. This right here is one over three. Same thing with the over down here. Then finally we have one over fours right here. And I'm going to just say that that's the rest of them also. So I really don't care. But this is the way I would work this out. What is the probability you will select a sandwich with white bread? Alright, so we're just looking for white bread sandwiches. So do we care about the meat? No. So that probability becomes 1, because we don't have to choose. So let's see. We have our choice of bread, which is 1 half. So let me see. Hold on. Probability of white. And this is a, someone just selecting at random. And so we have 1 half for the white bread, for the bread itself. Then we have the choices for our meat. Since we don't care, if we do not care, our probability becomes 1 because we don't care which one. We add all the probabilities together. 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third is equal to 1. Then, we don't care about the cheese. So, same thing. That becomes 1. So our probability is 1 half or 50%. Simple as that. What is the probability you will select a sandwich with American cheese? Ooh. Oh, so we have a sandwich, American cheese. All right, so we don't care about the meat, so that's a one. We don't care about the meat, the beef, that's also a one. But we do care about the cheese. So we look at the cheese, there's four choices for cheese, one over four. So that's equal to one-fourth or 25 percent. What is the probability you'll select a sandwich on wheat bread with ham and any cheese? So we want a sandwich. Okay, probability of wheat, comma, uh, and ham. And we don't care about the cheese. So we go ahead and look at this. Wheat bread, it has a one-half probability that we're going to choose wheat. Ham has a one-third probability that we're going to choose the ham, so it's one-third. And then, the cheese, we don't care. It's a one. So this becomes one over six, or I think it's point one two, but I'm not sure. One divided by six. Okay, yeah. So it is uh, 16... Uh, 16.7%. Alright, as you can see, let me put that to the side. Oh, I'm using that for work too, so I'll go ahead and get that. What's the probability you'll select a sandwich on white? So we have probability on white, comma, has either beef or turkey. So we're going to add those two probabilities, beef or turkey. That's what the or means we're adding. And then finally, has provolone. Oh, provolone cheese. Talk about fancy. All right, so this is where we have the addings because we're adding two possibilities together. So white is one half times. So we have either... Beef or turkey. So that's one third and one third. One third plus one third is one six. So I'm going to just put this right here. One third plus one third 
is actually two thirds. Sorry, why am I saying one six? All right, times provolone, which is one quarter. So that's going to be one half times one over two over three times one fourth. So I need to just multiply all that together. So let's see. That would be 2 over 2 times 3 times 4, 24. So 2 over 24, which is 1 twelfth, which is 8.3%. Okay, finally, what is the probability you will select a sandwich with neither beef nor Munster? So you're looking at a sandwich that doesn't have beef or monster. And so you're looking at this right here. And you're going at, if it's beef nor monster, you're not choosing those. So if you're getting rid of the beef, you still have two-thirds probability that you're choosing a sandwich that doesn't have that. And three-quarters that you're choosing a sandwich that you don't have the monster. So... You're going for the possibilities that you don't want. So probability, no beef. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Oh, God. And no Munster. No M. Um, nom. Anyway, uh, if you look at this right here, you have no beef. So you have the probabilities that you're picking ham or turkey. So that's two-thirds probability. I'm not doing this whole thing right here because I know it will work, but I don't want to do it right now. It's just real fast for, just for me to think about that. And let it takes less of paper. So we don't want Munster, so we want either American, Swiss, or Provolone. So that's three over four. And that's going to be the majority of our sandwiches. So this is six... Oh, and what about the bread? We don't care about the bread. So we just multiply by 1. We can choose either wheat or white. So 2 thirds, okay, so that's 6 over 12, which is equal to 1 half, which is equal to 50%. And that's all there is to it. Easy peasy, rice and cheesy. That's all you need to worry about. And that's where everything goes. Okay, so thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys in class.